hi guess where we are guess what we are making we are making a quick stir fry for the whole family well i'm ready to get started how about you but the first thing we need to do is wash our hands for we know the importance of washing our hands so we won't pass no germs into ourselves, and so we definitely won't pass it to no one else after that let us pray heavenly father we thank you once again for all this wonderful food that you love on this earth lord god we just give you all the praise and all the glory we ask you to sanctify it purify it for the nutrition of our body in the blessed name of jesus we pray amen well guys i'm so excited because i I'm so excited because I have a big family and you know, I love to make stuff homemade, but sometimes you just don't have the time if you know what I mean. And so I have a friend of mine, her name is Minister Marcia Patrick. And I want to give a shout out to her because she showed me a quick way of making stir fry without all that hassle. Now, you know, if you've been watching me for a while, I have made stir fry homemade. So if you want to try some homemade stir fry, check out my videos but today we making it quick and we making it easy so well I love this so this is you can find this at your local um, grocery store it is called stir fry veggie and sauce and this is the sesame garlic kind and I'm so excited about it it comes with the veggie depending on how big your family is like I usually use about two two to four probably about four packages with my size family but which with your size family maybe you only need one bag that could serve two people so you have your nice veggies and veggies in here and also you will have your sauce package in here so the first thing you want to do you want to get your eye going which we already have our eye right here guys and we're gonna get our pot, our pan on our eye. And after we get our eye going, guys, we wanna add in that sauce package. Now, I just wanna remind you, you can double this depending on the size of your family. The sauce package come like this and it may be frozen. And so what you have to do is just warm some, um, you could thaw it out in a microwave where you just warm um, some nice water warm water on there to thaw it out and you will get your sauce inside of your pot and you want to make sure you get all that sauce because you're going to need all that sauce very easy guys so i thank you sister marcia minister marcia so you want to get all that sauce in there like that Get it stirred around there. After that, you want to add your veggies. Now, what I love about this, if you're vegetarian, just add your veggies. If you like meat, you can add chicken. You can add tofu. You can add steak. Be creative, okay? So, but th remember, this bag only come with veggies. If you want to add meat, you have to buy the meat. And make sure your meat is fully cooked. So, once I got my sauce in here... And my sauce started to bubble a little bit. I want to pour my frozen um, veggies in here. And kind of just stir that around a little bit. And then I want to get, if you're going to use some kind of meat, what I'm going to use. And remember, make sure your meat is fully cooked. I love this. This is some beef fajitas. And I love this. It's fully cooked. And I'm going to add this into... Um, my um my veggie mix guys i rinse my meat off a little bit so okay once you get this all added in guys you want to get that all stirred up nicely and it calls for you to add about per bag it's calls for you to add about two tablespoons of water so we're going to add our two tablespoons of water Okay. You want to give that a nice stir. Then after that, guys, you want to turn the heat up just a little bit and you want to put a top on top on there. And you're going to let that hang out for about 8 to 9 minutes until it's it's done. You know, your meat is already done. What you're really waiting for is because it's frozen that it's completely thawed and um, finished cooking. 
Um, so guys, what I have done while you're waiting for this to get done, this is a good time to get you some rice. And my since we're doing it easy, the easy way, why not get the rice in a bag that only take 10 minutes? So you could throw you a couple of bags of some boiling water and then you'll have your rice. Well, I'll be back in three and three and we'll see how this meal turned out. Hi guys, we are back and the quick stir fry is done and it is looking good. Look at this guys, it is hot. It just came out of the skillet and I'm excited and my rice is done. I use that successful bag, quick rice um, that you boil in a bag and I'm so excited. I want to remind you what's in this bag. I love it. They have broccoli in here, cauliflower in here, carrots. They got red bell peppers and celery with sweet sesame garlic sauce and so much more. And there's no artificial flavors, guys. So I'm so excited. So let's um, take a thumbnail and then we'll pray and then we'll eat. Okay, guys, this looks so yummy. Well, God, we thank you again for all this food. We ask you to bless it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, since you're my guest, you get the first taste. I'm trying to give you a big bite of everything. Do I got meat on there? Here you go. Ooh, let me try. Mmm. I love the beef fajita meat. If you want to get that, it's Angus beef fajita meat. It is so good and so tender. You can use whatever kind of meat you want. You can use chicken, tofu. Mmm. This is so good. And you don't have to have rice. The rice give it a more filling taste. Well, guys, thank you for once again for tuning in to Simply Simple. For tuning in to Simple, Easy, and Fun Cooking with Felicia. Where I believe that cooking should be simple. It should be that cooking should be simple. It should be easy and it should be fun. Until next time, be blessed.